my God! Another huge, great, massive, toxic petrol heap of crap. How do we get rid of them? They keep on making more and more. BMW said, we're just introducing our fastest ever 400 brake horsepower, four cylinder BMW M series. Does naught to 60 in five seconds. A lot slower than a Tesla. And, but burns huge amounts of toxic shit. BMW, please just develop the i3. It's a fantastic platform. It's made from natural materials. All you have to do is just make it go as fast as a Tesla. That's all you have to do and give it a longer range. Quite bloody simple. Ditch the stink. Anyhow, that's not what it's all about today. It's about figureheads. Yes. Figureheads. These things. I don't know if you can see them. No idea. I don't know if I can see them. Does it matter? Well, probably not. I like this splendid chap there. He looks quite nice, doesn't he? So, he, what type of figure? Uh, grippy, I was watching that. He, what type of figure do you like, Daddy? I've got a wonderful side profile, haven't we? He, if my ears, let's say, were in the wind, they would go up like this. Actually, that does look rather splendid. It looks like that woman from the Titanic. I'm not a woman, thank you. I'm a male doggy. Okay. Yeah, Grippy. Well, funnily enough, I did a picture of myself. That's a bit egocentric, isn't it? Yes, it is, Grippy. It's my ship. It's my project. It's my planet. I am definitely a bit egocentric, aren't I? But I, I want to do it for non-profit, unlike Boris Johnson and all his brigade. Hey, there we go. So it has a stop sign, and it's me on the bows. But I'll unbolt, obviously, just in case we want to ram something. Hey, the warrior had a figurehead, the last navy ship to have a figurehead. And, and, uh, but the new ones didn't, because they wanted to ram boats and sink them. Yeah, it's a bit aggressive there, isn't it, uh, Grippy? Yes, it is, definitely. Hey, does that mean we can take the figure off and ram the plastic dinghies, you know, those plastic boats made out of glass fibre? No, Grippy, we're not going to do that, strangely enough. Well, not not on purpose anyway. I might sink some plastic boats accidentally while I'm going to the marina or something. And there's another one, the stop sign there. And I thought the arms back, a bit like that famous scene on Titanic. Not sure. Old man with a beard, though. Anyhow, yeah, it's a uh, figurehead for Taidomu. Expedition ship saving our world because of people like Boris Johnson and uh, uh, various other people like the MI5 agents that's called... Uh, what's his name? Rupert Murdoch. No, not Rupert Murdoch. Uh, Jeremy Corbyn. No, not Jeremy Corbyn. Uh, Dominic Cummings. That's it. Dominic Cummings. Obviously MI5 agent. And I suppose the thing is, is it's so bloody obvious. Funnily enough, on Facebook, there's a... Well, it's not funny. It's really actually rather sad, although I did a funny face because I thought the irony was just weird. This poor chap is living on the River Don, which is most probably not a good idea. We are going to get a lot more wet weather. Simple reason, because there appears to be a lot of ice melting. I wouldn't think it takes a genius or a climate scientist to work that one out. We might get a lot of rain, potentially a lot of snow. Seems pretty obvious, really, doesn't it? Anyhow, apparently he's lost his business, which is not really great. And he now is turning around and said, well, I'm Boris, and I know Boris is going to sort us out, and I know he's going to get us out of Europe, and we're all going to have jobs, and we're all going to live happily ever after, but could he come and help? I don't think he's got the hang of it. Boris will turn up after four years and ask him for his vote. The irony is, he will actually give him his vote, because Boris will say, <clears throat> Well, man, chap, here, yeah. stiff upper lip and everything, oh, you lost your business, and you've managed to rebuild by yourself. Well done, well done, well done, yep, done. Uh, me and my friends, yes, uh, a few million, billion down the road now. Uh, we need your vote, you understand. We've got some war problems, you know what I mean. Click, click, understand. And yes, we're trying to sort this climate change thing out. Have you bought a new four-wheel drive, by the way? Um, yes, um, yes. Well, anyway, vote for me because there's nobody else. The other people are really, really bad and they're trying to tax me. No, sorry, um, they're trying to, um, you know. Anyway, just vote for me, good old man. And they will because they love that. They like being told what to do. It's a sad fact, but the Eaton boys know how to tell people what to do. But when it actually comes to, do you need them? No, they're not there. You notice that in the battlefield as well. Strangely enough, they're just having a bit of a gin and tonic with, down in the club, down the road. 
In fact, my grandfather, I think he noticed that, actually. He noticed that the people were dying were the lesser ranks, for some strange reason. Now, I am not saying that there were not a few high-ranking people that had their head blown off and went first, because they were. But generally speaking, it was mostly the working-class people. Now, human beings, we are a bit tuppy. However, there is change, and that change is going to come from you and myself. And... The fact we've got amazing technology, and really, I think that, I don't know, a particular man himself, but I do believe that we can now start communicating, and it's going to be these little devices. Yes, it's going to be your mobile phone, my mobile phone. That's why I'm going to start a 24-hour broadcasting studio, and how we're going to topple the 1% of the planet, because the problem is a global problem. The solutions will be global solutions, but locally from grassroots normal human beings because either we are really really tippy in that case we've just messed up a perfectly good little planet or we then implement the correct technology and greed goes out the window anyway, that's all what buzz of toxic is all about so i'm doing a figurehead for Tidemu. do you have any ideas let me know should i have a giraffe on there let's say should i have hey what about me grippy yeah well actually I'm the captain. I might just put myself on there, but I'm not sure. So, but yeah, do let me know. Meanwhile, you can look at the Western Power Distribution and their Toxic and my Toxic. Yes, the new Ford Toxic. Guaranteed to kill the planet slightly more than the old Ford Toxic, but slightly less, depending on which way you look at it. We've got a lot of work to do. Bye. Love you. That was a broadcast brought to you by Big Buzz. Yes, he's got an island, but not that one.